Hello and welcome back to CIS 165 JavaScript Programming. This is your instructor Victor Campos. So after you've set up your development tools, a web browser and our code editor, here's what our workflow is going to be like. On your system you're going to need to create folders for each of the lessons we're going to work on. So here in Windows I would right click to create a folder and I can call it Lesson 0 for the moment. And so everything that I'm going to do regarding this uh, intro lesson is going to be in this folder. I would then open Visual Studio Code and I need to tell the software use that lesson folder I just created. We would do it like this. Go up to the File menu, Open Folder, and go find the folder that you have created. I put mine on the desktop of my computer so there it is. I'm going to select it and then click select folder. So what happens is that the Explorer opens up on the left side. You can open and close it there. And uh, we're in the Lesson 0 folder. We don't have any open uh, editors. We don't have any code that we're looking at at the moment. I'll go up to the file menu new file and I want to save this so file menu save as I'm saving it in my lesson 0 folder and let's say I'm gonna call this um, l0.html it's very important right there to have the .html extension this tells Visual Studio Code what kind of code we're editing yes we're gonna deal with a lot of JavaScript but uh, we will basically usually be writing our JavaScript in an HTML file. We'll get to why later. But I'm going to save this l0.html. If you get any sort of pop up at the top about Microsoft.NET Framework, etc., needs to be installed, you can ignore it. I'm going to click it just so that it stops bothering me and I will op and I will close whatever popped up. It might pop up more than once. You can pretty much safely ignore it so don't worry about it and so now it shows on the left side you're in your lesson 0 folder you've got the L0 HTML file currently open and so we're gonna have a lesson of course where we start to write HTML and here just typing a little bit of the code you should see that this is what I said previously about a civilized code editor it helps me finish my code. I still have to learn what the code means, but it's going to help me to write my code. And let's say I wrote something very basic. This little dot up here means I haven't saved yet. It's also visible on the left side and number one here tells me you have one file open that has not been saved. So I'll get in the habit of every once in a while saving my work, which is Control S on Windows or Command S on the Mac. Once I save it, you see the dot goes away, away at the top. This uh, .NET thing came back, so I'm just going to close it again. Again, it's probably going to pop up a few times. Don't worry about it. You can just ignore it. So I saved my work. And the way that I would see the result is, if I go back to the folder on my desktop where I um, saved my work, I can open that folder and I'll see that's what I've written so far and I want to open it as an actual web page not code so I can double click it and it'll open in my default web browser in this case Internet Explorer but like I said I would like to use Google Chrome as my web browser so in Windows you can right click open with Google Chrome you can even go into choose your defaults and automatically have it go to Google Chrome. You do it in a little bit of a different way on the Mac, but I'm sure you can figure it out. And so the web browser loads up Google Chrome, and here's my code so far. Hello. This will make sense if you've never used HTML very soon. If you've never used JavaScript, it'll make sense. We'll get to it. Right here I'm just showing that the way that it will work is we will write some code, we will have it do something, it will help us a little bit, we 
we need to save our work and then we go to the web browser and refresh it so there's the HTML hello and then here is the JavaScript hello again and that what that's what our process will be write some code run the code 